We do want to continue our team coverage tonight. Fox 12's Brian McMillan is live for us in Beaverton. And Brian, when it rains like this, there is certainly a concern for landslides. Absolutely, and especially right now in some of those burn scar areas from this fall's wildfires. Out here in Beaverton, we've had about an inch and a half of rain over the past 24 hours. And in some of those burn scar areas, they've had at least that amount or a little bit more. And think about it this way. When the rain is falling hard on an area that doesn't have vegetation anymore, has a bunch of dead trees, that rain isn't going to be soaked up by anything. It's going to go somewhere, and that somewhere is downstream. Heavy rain can trigger landslides, rock fall, and debris flows in steep terrain, and the risk is even higher in some of those burn areas, like those surrounding the Beachy Creek, Riverside, and Holiday Farm fires. I spoke with Paul Sclafani with the Army Corps of Engineers. In a typical year, he says they start drawing down the reservoirs after Labor Day and don't start filling the reservoirs until after a typical flood season, which usually means on February 1st. This year, he says, they are being even more cautious and leaving more room in the reservoirs for rain and runoff. Because the, the vegetation has been stripped away and because the soils have been scorched, there's a, there's a chance for the, the rainfall to produce increased volumes of water for, uh, for these storms. And so that, that only makes matters worse in terms of uh, the potential for downstream flooding. Now, if you live in one of these burn scar areas that could be prone to landslides, experts say during big rain events like these, you need to watch the water around your home. If it starts getting muddy, start to start really uh, watching it more. Make sure to listen for unusual sounds like cracking rocks. Also, be very careful when driving some of these embankments. We've seen this a lot of times. Embankments along roadsides uh, can fall, sending debris onto the road. We've seen that happen in the Columbia River Gorge. We've seen that happen out along the coast and even in some of these burn scar areas. For now, reporting live in Beaverton, Brian McMillan, Fox 12 Oregon.